Alrighty, going into a new computer art tutorial here using Pixlr. And what we're going to go over today is adding what are called elements. And so Pixlr's got a lot of these fun elements that you can add, uh, things like the good vibes uh, sign here and the, the sun with the glasses and this border and some of these border shapes. So I just want to go into how to do that with uh, creating a new poster design for our class assignment. So. I'm going to just toggle back to home. I'm going to go create new. Um, what we were looking at for kind of a model for this poster design, we're trying to create something, a poster that kind of delivers a message or advocates for a social issue or something like that. So having some text and then kind of just a simple background kind of thing. But we want our orientation to be going this way, vertical. So uh, we'll start by choosing full HD, but I'm just going to flip-flop these numbers. So I'm going to just go uh, take this 1920, copy it, and then paste it here into the... Uh, height spot and then here I'm just going to change this to be 1080 really quick. All right, we'll call this a PSA or public service announcement. All right, so uh, what I wanted to just start this with is just give it a base layer of a gradient. So I'm going to click on the gradient tool, come over here and just click on any gradient that I want. Again, you don't necessarily have to follow these same exact steps, just want to put in a simple gradient for my background um, so I can show you the elements on top of that. So there we go, got my gradient fill. You could also play with radial gradients if you want to have a radial gradient as your background as well. Um, so, and then what we want to do in order to find those elements is you could go to it two ways. You could go layer, add element layer, or you could go to file and browse elements. And then in here, we've got some things like overlays, which are really cool. And so uh, some of these are premium offers. So you can only use these if you pay for the premium package, but any that don't have this little yellow icon, uh, you can use for free. And so here you have some really cool kind of like layers like of different lights that you can kind of add over the top of your um, project. And so you've got some different effects here that you can add in and you can adjust the opacity or transparency before you kind of add it in there. And so if I want to keep that, I'll just hit close and now that element layer is in there. And so, uh, like I said, we can also add in other elements like borders. And so maybe I'll try out one of these borders. Art Deco ones work pretty cool very simple kind of borders that you can add in and test out. See if you can find one you like or that fits to the uh, feel of the poster that you're trying to create. Um, let's also go to, we could go to file and browse elements as well. It's another way to get to the same thing. We could add in other um, stickers or shapes. Um, some of these shapes can be useful for things like graphics where we're trying to show in uh, put in arrows and things like that. Um, I added some of these corner graphics, which I thought were kind of cool too. And so if you add in something like these, um, you just have to adjust the size. And if you want to delete them, you just simply click on one and uh, use your cursor tool and you can easily uh, delete them by just pressing the delete key, right? So if I wanted to kind of adjust these corners, kind of just add another shape into this kind of corner design here for my poster, I could duplicate this. So once I have it down to the size I want, I could right click on it and go to duplicate and then move these around and kind of put them in all the corners. And then the other place that I was looking to add elements was with stickers. And so let's add in a couple stickers, add element layer, sticker. Again, uh, just look out for the ones that have the premium sign on them. Those ones are not available. I thought these alpaca ones were pretty cute. That's where I got the sun guy. And uh, once you add them in, you can change the size of them, shrink them down. All right, and so that's pretty much it for how you can add elements to your poster. I would add some other text and things like that in here too, like I had done in my other example. So I um, hope you guys have fun with adding elements into this PSA poster assignment.